Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out the Mustang Sally Uncaged Double IPA. And this one has just a picture of Nicolas Cage being Nicolas Cage. It looks almost <laughs> like a painting though, because like his yeah. jacket is all like, you know, that oil painting look where it's kind of like fuzzed out and like kind of looks like swirly. But then he's, on, the he's like strokes. on fire with like purple flames. It just looks awesome. That's a good, some great yeah. can art right there. I wonder who drew the, the painting or the image of Nicolas Cage, because that's, they did a very good job on it. I feel like they just digitized this, you know? Maybe they did in the Like it was a filter. picture? Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, that's probably, that's what I would have done. Just make it easy. Double IPA, brewed and canned by Mustang Sally, has an address on there, right in Park Long Court. 8.4% uh, Citra and El Dorado um, IPA. That's about all we know. I like the Lisa Frank vibes I'm getting from the <laughs> Reminds me of my childhood. Dang, throwback. Serious throwback. So right out the gate, uh, that's a hazy beer. Moderate haze on that one, I would say. Uh, head retention seems to disappear quite quickly. Yeah, not, not really much going on there. I no. do get a lot of floaties in this yeah. one, though. Look at Lots that. Lots of proteins. Man, protein city. So much hazy floaties right there. So many. I don't know if that turns me on or turns me off, to be honest. Like, I could do with a little bit more clearing on this one. Yeah. Uh, there's just there's just a ton of stuff hanging out in there. Uh, I'm okay if it's like a few, but when... But when it's your whole beer? Yeah. It's just kind of like, it's off-putting, man. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not going to hurt you. But you know, seeing it bad, doesn't but... really make me, you know, want to want to buy the beer. To be honest, it makes me afraid I'm gonna get chunks. Ugh, chunky floaties are the worst. Yeah, I'm not getting a whole lot of a whole lot of hop character on this one. No, yeah. it's just kind of flat. I don't know. I'm getting the tropical, like some of the tropical notes, some of them, um, but then the other aroma is kind of overpowering the, the tropicalness of it. I don't know, it's kind of lost on me. I'm yeah. not getting much. I'm just right. gonna dive right in and see what it tastes like instead. So yeah, I mean, tropical notes for sure. It definitely tastes like a double IPA. I was gonna say I'm getting a lot of carbonation. It's, it's very carbonated, yeah. I would say this is on the high, medium to high end mm -hmm. of carbonation. I mean, this beer, it doesn't it doesn't have the body that I expected from a double IPA, mm -hmm. that's for sure. It's a little thin. It's got these floaty things happening in it. Um, and uh, it tastes more carbonated than it needs to be. Yeah. And I think that overpowers a lot of the flavors that potentially w would be in this beer. And also I'm not getting much on the aroma either. That's the other thing. So yeah, two two things that are really throwing me off is yeah the carbonation. I, it's almost playing with like my senses, and I'm getting more of an alcoholic yes background to it. There's a twang to it, and and yeah, dippas. You know, you'll get that in dippas, but they're usually kind of smoothed out and balanced, so you don't really notice it. But right, I don't know. When I think of double IPA, I think of a bigger body um, in a beer, and this one just doesn't for me it doesn't have it. Yeah. Um, and I'm not getting a lot of body from it. Yeah, it, it feels overcarbonated. It feels like an old beer is what it feels like. You know, it feels like something that's been sitting around for a very long time and it just lost all its hot character and it lost pretty much everything, except for the carbonation, which is weird. It's like, it's, it seems high. Yeah. I mean, but this was canned on like 11.9 of 2020. So what date is it now? One, it's not, yeah, it's like 12, one, what's Two months old. Yeah, it's not even two months old. So it should be, I don't know, should be better than this. This one overall is a little bit disappointing for me. Uh, but uh, I mean, it, the flavors are there. I just, it's, it seems imbalanced mm -hmm. is, is what the main thing is. Could be a little bit better done. Comparing this though to uh, the other Mustang Sally beer, uh, the Crank to 11 or Turn Up to 11 or yeah. what was it called? 11 is Louder. 11 is Louder. That one was a way better brewed beer yeah. than this one, I think. Was it also a dipper? I think it was. Uh, I, 
can't remember. Yeah, I think it was like a double IPA too, but that was very good. I think it was a sing, I wanna say it was a single at like seven and a half percent. I don't know, it doesn't really Close matter. Enough. Either way, um, that beer tasted like a, it had the body, it had, you know, the creaminess, it was hazy, it had like everything that I expected and didn't expect it to be. Yeah. Right? So it was, it was really good. This one, I expected the same thing, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, or much of the same thing, but uh, it just doesn't deliver. That's my take. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. If you liked what you saw, please hit that subscribe button. Be sure to check out our social media channels. Until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. Cheers.